OMG, what on earth is happening? The smoke is flying out from my floor. Episode 28 A Series of Bad Luck Good morning, Dora. Rise and shine, Jess. Why did you wake up so early today? I have to prepare for a new modeling audition this morning. Break a leg to you, then. Thank you. I hope the same goes for you. Oh no, the flower vase was broken. How bad. I didn't want to say jinx, Dora, but you gotta be careful today. What are you trying to say? Jess, I'm sorry for breaking your favorite vase. I will buy you a new one on the way back from work. Believe me, it's not about a personal vendetta. I didn't blame you for this. You know how clumsy I am. I bring things, like, almost every day. Fill me in with the jinx thing, please. How come ruining a flower vase could be a jinx? Did you just say that to tease me? <laughs> All right, chill. Be cool as a cucumber, my friend. When I was small, my granny said that Jess, breaking glassy things is a sign of bad luck. Glassy things like what, granny? Mirrors, vases, plates. There are so many things that can bring you bad luck if you break them, honey. You know how superstitious my grandma is, Dora. But the truth was, every time I broke something, I got yelled at by my mom. So it's clearly an, an unfortunate event to me. Oh, that actually reminded me about one of my childhood stories. Hmm. On my ninth birthday, Daddy got me a music box. It was so beautiful with a glassy ballerina inside. Once, I was so careless that I dropped it, and the ballerina lost a part of her arm. <laughs> what happened to you? I was so sad about the incident, but what got me worse was that I hurt myself when riding a bike after that. I had to use a cast for my arm for months before its recovery. Now I could really see the relation. Yeah, it was so scary. Oh, anyway... Don't worry too much about it. You can always change your bad luck, Dora. But how? I'm late. I gotta go now. Welcome to the NY Bank. How can I help you, ma'am? Hi, I want to open a credit card at your bank. We have two kinds of credit cards, which are personal use and enterprise use. Which one would you like to choose, ma'am? Personal use, please. Here is the form you will need to fill in. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me, ma'am. Hands up! Give me all the money you have in the vault or I will shoot. Please calm down, sir. We will do everything you want, just don't fire the gun. Lose the talking, hurry up! I don't have time for your chit-chat. Put all the money in here. All right, I'll do it. Everyone, hands in the air! You don't want to make me angry. Here is your money, sir. <laughs> See? Just do what I told you and things would be as easy as a piece of cake. Drop the gun! Hands up! You're arrested for this bank robbery. We got this place surrounded, you can't run anywhere. Jake, you will find it hard to believe, but I swear I'm telling you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yeah? What is it? I'm getting so hyped now, Dora. I have just gone back from the bank, and I was a witness to a bank robbery. What? A robbery? Did you get hurt? No, I'm totally fine, Jake. But it felt so unreal, you know? Oh, wait, someone is calling me now. Unknown number. 
Can I call you back later? Yes, sure. Call me when you get home safe and sound, baby. Hello? Yes, that's me. I'm living in the Shining Building. Pardon? Our building is on fire? Oh, gosh, I'll be back immediately. Thank you for letting me know. OMG, what on earth is happening? The smoke is flying out from my floor. Oh, is that Mrs. Diane? What's wrong? Mrs. Diane, why are you crying? It was all my fault. I forgot to turn off the stove this morning. Everything would be burnt into ashes right now. I'm sorry. It's all right, Mrs. Diane. I know you didn't want to do it on purpose. No one wants to forget to turn off the stove. It happened to me once, and it left a big hole in our frying pan. Jess was so mad at me about that, Mrs. Diane. We got the fire under control. You all are safe now. You see, everything is fine now. Dora, Mrs. Diane, are you two okay? As soon as finishing the audition, I headed home. Things are perfectly fine now, thanks to those heroes. I know our door is fireproof, but I'm a bit worried about Captain Kiwi. Your parrot, isn't it? I hope he is well. I told you. Nothing good happens if you break a glassy thing. Yeah, what a long day for me. I couldn't believe that I could meet an armed bank robber and a fire in one day. But you know, at least like people always say, every cloud has a silver lining. You are okay, and Captain Kiwi is okay too. Our apartment isn't damaged by the fire. Yeah, no one in the building got injured. By the way, how was your addition? Guess what? I'm hired, and I will take you to the top-notch restaurant tomorrow. It's on me. <laughs> so we got another silver lining after all. Uh -huh.